Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa and an Autodesk certified instructor. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the differences between factory scope and member scope when working with an iPart or I assemblies. So here's a fairly simple iPart. Uh, I use one like this quite often when I'm working or when I'm demonstrating iParts. Let me just show you the table here real quick. It's fairly simple, just three members. It's a rectangle that's got different sizes uh, in terms of length and width. It's extruded. So right now I'm in factory scope, which is the default setting. So on the manage tab here under the author panel, uh, because my, my screen resolution is a little bit uh, condensed, you'll see here that it's, it's just the icon right now. But I'm in factory scope, meaning that any change I make will be affected or will affect every member. So let me just quickly here. I'll create a sketch and create a little notch in the one corner while I'm still using the factory scope. Project in this face, two point rectangle, just a little notch, and I'll extrude it. So you can see here, it's all, uh, it's in every member. There's no differences here. It doesn't even really affect the table at all. There's nothing that changes on the table. Let me switch over to, to member scope and show you how the same thing occurs or how the same change is handled when I'm in just member scope. So I'm gonna go back to manage. I'll come over here to edit member. So now I'm going to make the same cutout in just another corner. So 2D sketch, this face, project this geometry, two point rectangle. I'll label it one by one, just like I did last time. Finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude it as a cut. So now if I look at my table, you'll notice that extrusion four here is now added. It's computed on the first two or the first one and left off the other two. So now let's say I want to make a change to the second member. So if I go to part two here, I'm still in member scope. If I turn off the suppression of this, this feature, or if I unsuppress it, it'll now be added there. And let's say I go into that sketch and I make a change to one of these values. Let's say I make it two by two. Finish my sketch. Now let's look at my table. That extrusion four is computed on the first two members. It's one by one on the first one and two by two in the second one. So that is the power of having member scope turned on that I can freely make those changes. If I go to part three here, you'll see that it is suppressed because I never enabled it, never turned it on. Um, it's a very nice way to work with iParts. Uh, you don't have to bounce back and forth between features and the table to make the edits that you need to. You can just turn that on, change sizes, and those changes will be recorded with the table because you have member scope enabled. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at the email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.